Okay, next, I think it's the pen. We need to take the pen out. And we're going to use the lasso tool to do the pen. Okay? And then we're going to rotate it. So, go down to your pen. And choose the lasso. The lasso, the letter, click, click or press the letter L on your keyboard, Alice and Larry. Um, now the lasso tool, this is by hand, like when you select it. It'll automatically select where you want it to go. If you have, uh, like notice I just made a mistake here. If you're not good at, with your mouse, with your hand, you may want to use a magnetic lasso. The magnetic lasso, if you hold down the lasso and go to magnetic lasso, it will automatically uh, pick up the line for you so you can go a little bit faster. If you make a mistake on where you want it to go, so let's say I came in and did that mistake. If you did that, you can hit uh, delete or the backspace button and it will backtrack what you just did. Okay. So basically, as you can see, I'm laying down, and I'm not holding, all I'm doing is moving the mouse. I'm not clicking any buttons. It's just automatically selecting that. Now, notice it kind of cut that edge a little bit on my pen. So what I'm going to do is hit backspace to go back, and I'm going to click up right there on that corner to make sure that it goes. So you can like move it. So notice there, it didn't pick it up. Just hit backspace. I'm going to click on this corner, click, click, click to make sure that it picks up, picks it up. And I'm going to click, move it, click. See it's not picking it up, so I'm going to click for it. Click, 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 click. Ooh, missed one. Click, click, click. The reason why it's not selecting it is because that gold is meshing in with the blue. That's why I said you want to make sure that you have good contrasting colors like black on white or dark on light. And then when you're finished, you should see the little O next to the cursor. And that means you're completing the um, circle around the selection. So you're going to click and now it's selected. Okay. Now you're going to hit the letter V on the keyboard to move it, as in Victor. You're going to move it up. Command T to transform it. We're going to rotate it over like this. Hit Enter to place it, and Command D to deselect it. And we're done with that part. Okay. Um, the last part we're going to do is the lock. So again... I'm going to use the magnetic lasso, so the letter L on your keyboard, you can just click, it should automatically select it because it's a pretty good contrast. Notice the black outline and then the white background. Since it's such a good contrast, the magnetic lasso can pick it up easier. So remember that when you're trying to find pictures that you're going to like lasso out, that it's good uh, background. Oh, I made a mistake, so just hit the backspace button or delete, and it will backtrack. And there we go. Hit V to move it, put it in the middle, Command D to deselect it, and we're done with that part. Okay. Okay, so now we have our collage, but notice all this other stuff around it. We don't need that anymore, right? So let's get rid of it. Um, even if you have stuff on the outside that you want to save for later, we can still do this and then come back to it later. So go ahead and select the rectangle marquee up here. Draw a square around only your collage area and then hit image crop it's gonna crop it out for you okay 
And that concludes the lesson uh, for today. We went ahead and finished all the main parts. We cropped it. And we're good to go.